The Uncorporation as an Example Franchise by Anna von Reitz. Information provided to H.E. Cardinal Momberti and the Vatican Chancery Court regarding our claims March 6, 2005, January 19, 2023 in Sikh. Though most people think of the United Nations Organization when they hear the name, UN, the organization has been used as a storefront and mirror for the Uncorporation, yet another renegade municipal corporation, first incorporated in France by members of the Vichy government in 1943, a full two years before the organization was even chartered. The same scenario applies to the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and its municipal government mirror, NATO, INC. Please note the roster of known Nazi officers who have occupied high organizational positions in, NATO, 1, Adolf Hausinger, 2, Hans Beidel, 3, Johannes Steinhoff, 4, Johann von Kleimensig, 5, Ernst Ferber, 6, Karl Schnell, 7, Franz Joseph Schultz, 8, Ferdinand von Sanger und Etterlin. The fact that these men were Nazis was never hidden or debated. They were private hires of the municipal corporation operated as NATO, INC, which was also founded by Nazis in the midst of the Second World War. We should not even be surprised to see their names as principal officers of NATO, INC, but what does astonish most people in the Western world, is that NATO, INC, exists. And NATO, INC, is being passed off as the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, just as the Uncorporation is being passed off as the United Nations Organization. Again, we find the same theme of impersonation of one thing for another, and passing off a similarly named municipal corporation operated by unaccountable and mostly criminal persons, for innocent bystander organizations. This is the same shtick that the Scottish Interloper, a British Crown Municipal Corporation operating as the United States of America, incorporated, pulled in 1868, when they impersonated and infringed upon the trademarks of our Federation of States, the United States of America. This is how we find WHO, INC. A franchise of the Uncorporation operating as a criminal organization in the matter of the forced genocide mischaracterized as a pandemic, and we find NATO, INC. As the chief perpetrator organizing and funding and promoting the proliferation of biological weapons research and factories in the Ukraine. These are all criminally run amok municipal corporations and their franchises, are mostly owned and operated by Nazis and former Nazis. Unsurprisingly, these municipal corporations are being used to promote crimes against humanity, under the same anti-human influences of the meddling Alpha Dracony. Like their cohorts in the fraudulently organized independent, international city-state of Washington, D.C., these municipal corporations need to be liquidated or transferred by forfeiture to their creditors and victims, the people of our country and all the other countries that have been injured and preyed upon under conditions of fraud, deceit, and pretense of war. It now makes sense to the International Press Corps that Ukrainian troops were found wearing helmets with swastikas on them. As these municipal corporations have indulged in all these crimes against the living people and against the actual countries, they must be treated as criminal organizations and not as political entities having any recourse or protection. That is, if these guilty municipal corporations seek bankruptcy protection at the expense of their victims, they must be denied. If their owners and operators pled for the solace of the corporate veil, they must also be denied. It's past time for these crimes and criminal practices by municipal corporations to be addressed in an effective and systematic manner that brings this criminality to an end and which deters the perpetrators from doing it again. And again. And again. We wish for the control of all municipal corporations to be surrendered to the national governments, and in the absence of a competent national government to our government, acting as their fiduciary until this mess can be straightened out. Issued by, Anna Maria Riesinger, Fiduciary. The United States of America in care of, Box 520,994 Big Lake, Alaska 99,652. April 13, 2023.